Hello and welcome to episode 8 of my Factorio tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on continuing um, with the New Hope level 1 um, campaign. And so I'm going to resume it here. I'd paused it because I wanted you to see um, what happens when the research completes. And remember to pause, you just press the escape key. So let's resume and continue the mayhem. Okay, so that's going up at a nice rate, and that's with only one lap. Imagine when I've got a lot more laps, which I will have in future episodes. Um, perhaps I should do another lap now, so let's do it. And there we go, the, co the research completed. I can now make my beautiful, wonderful turrets. So next we're going to do automation, which is definitely the most next important one to do. Um, notice that these, these research projects I'm doing at the moment are only needing the red science packs once but you can go on to more complex items like um, this logistics 2 which notice needs the green science packs 2s so I'm going to just stick with the easy stuff for now which is automation which you'll notice when you click on something you want to research effects is telling you what you're going to get when you've researched that so this is the cost so it needs 10 of these science packs uh, the red ones and when it's completed I will get access to the assembling machines and the long-handed inserters which are invaluable and you're gonna see why anyway so let's research that okay let's now put down the second research which would be here actually no have I got that right no I haven't so let's rip that up and this time I'm gonna put it two away and you're gonna see why eventually in fact it's a bit soon for me to do two away I'll have to do one for now one gap away for now and you will see why okay let's put an insert down There we go, and now I need to give it some power. Yeah, there would be good, for now anyway. So now I'm going twice as fast with the research, you see that? How cool is that? Okay, what I want to do though is make some more gun turrets, because I am still very very naked so and we don't want that this is a family channel okay so let's get gun turrets made and then we're going to need to do a load of ammunition but now uh, once there we go now we'll be able to feed our gun turrets the ammunition rather than having to manually go around and do it ourselves how cool will that be okay so the next thing we're going to open up let's have a look this gives us underground belts yep definitely what we want so I'm going to do this just to get them. So let's research. This time it needs 20 research packs. Okay, so let's go put down our gun turrets first, or at least one of them. So it can go right over there. I'm still waiting for it to be made. Let's stay under the safety of this for now. Okay, there we got one. So it can go there. Okay, I need ammunition though. If I start laying these turrets down, the aliens are going to come along while they're empty and rip them up, destroy them, annihilate them. And we don't want to waste our resources. Okay, there's one more being made, and then I can start churning out a load of ammunition. Um, but we're going to need some iron plates. Should have a load by now. Yep, 711. 
so I'm not going to make too many bullets manually just enough for a couple of turrets because I'm going to be able to automate it in a little bit look see it was attacked already yeah it's taken damage already typical it was lucky this gun that's why I always build them within range of each other because if they do get attacked before you have a chance to put ammunition in the other guns will help them out the other turrets uh, how annoying is that though you see that they pounced on it they knew they sensed my vulnerability and they chewed up my gun turret you can uh, get repair kits eventually and so you can just go along and repair them Right, okay, we're getting loads of bullets now, that's good. This will not be so easy for them to attack next time. Right, so now the next important thing is to automate these getting filled up with ammunition. And this is what's going to allow me to make my life easier, I should say, with these underground belts, because we're going to start getting a bit clogged up above ground. Anyway, for now, let's do... Um, what one shall I do next? Her lights, yeah, I don't really depend. Ah, oh, there we go, that's what I would like. That's 50 of them science packs. Might be nice to have some armor, but we don't need that armor because we're protected with the gun turrets, uh, so they're not high priority. Let's just do this one. Oh yeah, that gives us faster transport belts, but that needs pack two, so I won't do that one yet. I'll do this one. Nice and simple. Okay, so now I want to automate these getting ammunition, the bullets. I'm happy with just having two of these research for now. Although, now I can make these long-handed inserters. So let's show you what I wanted to do. So I'm going to rip this up. Rip that up. Let's grab them. And I'm going to put it a gap of two away. Yep, there's two. Okay, so now what I can do is have a second conveyor belt. Let's rip that up. For the green science packs. So let's turn that around. Oops. There we go put another one there so this is going to be the conveyor belt for the green science packs but you're saying wait a minute game so you idiot you complete moron all right and i need to get like that about this i'm trying to help you all here uh why have you done this so now it's not getting any well what we can do now is create the long handed inserters so let's make two of them and what they will do is grab off of the second belt. They'll bypass the first belt and grab off the second belt. Because remember, we need, we're gonna need two, we're gonna need the red science pack ones down this belt and the green science pack twos down this belt. So this is the way you can get, and then watch when I give it power, what happens? Oh, and I need to do one for this, for when I do get the greens. Oh. Okay, let's just do that one now, that'll keep them busy. Ah, oh, that electric pole is right in my way. Let's rip it up. Let's put that there. Let's now put the power down there. And this one can go there. There we go, so it's all happy. You see the long range inserters grabbing off of this belt for here and when the green ones come down this belt the long range will grab for this one and that's how you can do well you know there's so many different configurations so many ways you can do it that's just my way of doing it um, let's rip this up
Right, now I want to automate the bullets getting manufactured and you need for the bullets you need just steel plates so this is where they're gonna I'm gonna be pulling them from okay so I'm gonna do it I go straight up no I can't so what I'm gonna do good job I've got loads of these uh, transport belts I'm gonna need them now so let's do this one away over here going in this direction and take it up here now uh, so it needs to be one away so that direct see what I'm doing here. Oh, or trying to do. Okay, now what I will have to do actually is because they're up there and there's a wall in the way, in fact, you know what, the wall can come out and make life so much easier. Right now, what we can do, here's where the fun really starts, is we can get inserters to insert off of the belts for us into the turrets, like so. Okay, all right, you've got no power, let's give them power. Let's give this power. to come that way right okay now we just need some bullets to come down here and let's put that there right okay so we're going to need a assembling machine which is that one and that's going to be making us our bullets from the plates so I could put it there and use, yeah, and use them. Okay, right. Now, what we need to do is an inserter to insert these. I'm going to use them off of the conveyor belt to start with. And they'll be putting the finished product, which is the bullets, onto this conveyor belt. Now we need to tell it, make lots of ammo. There you go. There it goes. How cool is that? I just love this game. Now watch what happens. Oh, I need to give that power. There we go. Now it starts putting the ammunition onto the conveyor belt. And let's follow it up. Oh. Okay, what should we do next? Let's do that one. Steel processing. Why not? Make ourselves a steel axe. Oh, and I'll need to put some lights down. Have I got any lights? No, must make some so you can actually see what I'm doing. But yeah, so we're following this bullet. Watch what happens. Notice it's currently got 34 bullets. It will only fill the turrets up so they have five bullets, uh, ten bullets in them. And what it will do, see there, that one worked, but it fills them to a maximum of ten. And what it, you'll do is then it'll just start filling up the conveyor belt line. And then as it needs the bullets, it can just pull them off of the conveyor belt, as you're going to see at the moment, though, because they've got plenty. I mean, I could throw in a load more to top them up, but there's no need once you've got your conveyor belt in. And so that's going to keep my turrets full of ammunition. How cool is that? That's now automated. The only thing now, we need lots more of these turrets, because I'm only a quarter dressed. So... Let's get myself properly decent. Okay, so let's... Ah, I can make four more, so let's... Oops, 
there goes the timer. Okay, so, okay, I'm going to end this episode here. In the next episode, we will continue with um, our research and continue making a load more of these gun turrets. And maybe we'll, no, we don't need to automate making gun turrets, but we'll make a load of them anyway. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you, and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.